we are supposed to prove the statement. So first of all, let's read the statement. Let's understand what we are supposed to prove. The statement says that prove that when two triangles are similar, so two triangles are similar, the ratio of the areas of those triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides. So when we read the statement, does this remind us of something? Yes, it reminds us. This statement is nothing but it is a statement for the theorem on areas of similar triangles, isn't it? It says when two triangles are similar, ratio of the areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides. We'll say yes. So that means proving this statement means we are supposed to prove the theorem on areas of similar triangles, my dear friends. So we'll say th this is the way we'll have it in the examination, right? They'll give us a statement and they'll say prove it. So first of all, we know whenever there's a statement, there's a theorem to be proved. What's the first thing? We are supposed to understand what are we supposed to draw? And we know, what does it say? We are supposed to have two similar triangles. So we are supposed to draw two similar triangles. Now when we draw two similar triangles, we know how do we draw it? Two similar triangles, they're not congruent. That means they are of the same shape, but not of the same size. That means we'll draw two triangles here. One has ABC, the other one has PQR. They look similar. That means they are of the same shape, but not of the same size. So one is bigger, the other one is smaller. So whatever we have drawn is nothing but what we're going to write in the given. That means in the given we are going to write triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. We wrote that. Now, the next question is, this is a given information. What are we supposed to prove? We know that when two triangles are similar, we need to prove that the ratio of the areas of these two triangles. That means, let's write the two proof. It says, prove that the ratio of areas of these two triangles. Ratio means something upon something. So in the numerator, you have area of one triangle. In the denominator, you have the area of the other triangle. That means it will be area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR. This is equal to, so we write equal to. Equal to what? Equal to the ratio. Again, a ratio. Ratio of what? Ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides. So when we say corresponding sides, how many pairs of corresponding sides do we have? Three, right? So what are we going to write? And from where do we get that? Right, those corresponding sides very easily because we know the two triangles are similar given to us. So from this, we can pick up the pairs of corresponding sides. So it is equal to AB square upon PQ square. Remember, my dear kids, it's very important. It's the ratio of the squares of the corresponding sides. So you'll say, yes, it is equal to the next one. What is that? It is equal to BC square upon QR square. That is also equal to the third one. That is nothing but AC square upon PR square, my dear kids. That means what we have understood now is, what are we supposed to draw? Done. What are we supposed to write in the given and the two proof? We are done with this. Okay, beautiful. That means when we draw this and when we write this given and two proof, by now half a mark we get for the figure, half a mark for the given and the two proof. That means we have got one mark by now. Okay, let's proceed further. Now we'll say, we're supposed to prove this le left hand side, that is area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR equal to this three ratios. But we can't get it equal to all the three at one time. We need to prove it one at a time. So let's only consider the first one, right? That means we'll focus on proving area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to AB square upon PQ square. Now the question is, how are we going to do this? Let's understand. Now, one thing, when you look at this right hand side, AB square upon PQ square, AB square means AB into AB. PQ square means PQ into PQ. So the same ratio AB square upon PQ square can be write as the product of two ratios like AB upon PQ into AB upon PQ. It's the same because we know AB into AB is AB square and PQ into PQ is nothing but PQ square, my dear kids. You say yes, okay. So this is what we are supposed to prove at the start. Okay, let's simplify this further and let's think over it. Now when you look at this left hand side, you will say we want area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR. Now we are dealing with area of a triangle and we know formula for area of a triangle is half into base into height. So we'll say we don't have a height here but any side can be considered as a base. So let's say we're going to consider this BC as a base. So if I consider BC as a base, 
you know the height has to be dropped from its opposite vertex that is A. So let's drop that. It's not there. That means we are doing a construction here. Remember. So we have drawn a construction that is AD perpendicular to BC. You will say we require a base and a height here. So for BC its corresponding side is QR. So we consider QR as a base and its height will be dropped from P. And this P S is the next height and that is the next construction. So in construction we are going to write draw segment AD perpendicular to side BC and segment PS perpendicular to side QR. So understand this. So why have we done the construction? Because we want area of a triangle. And for area of a triangle, we require the base and the height. Height was not there, so we have drawn that. So is this much clear? The moment we write this, we get another half mark. So you'll say, wow, this is interesting. So by now we have got one and a half mark. Let's go for the next, the rest of the marks now. Let's think of proving this now. You'll say, okay, let's start with the proof. We are talking about now we have the base and the height, but for these two triangles, do we have equal heights? No. Do we have equal bases? No. So you remember the properties which we learned, the four properties about the ratio of the areas of two triangles. So which property should we use? No, bases are not equal, heights are not equal. That means we are going to use the first property. Area upon area is equal to base into height upon base into height. Yes, my dear kids, that means we are going to write here area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to base into height of this triangle that is triangle ABC so we write base into height that is BC into AD beautiful same way here base into height that is QR into PS my dear kids that is what we have in the denominator right okay what is this we use the first property and we know we need to write that statement as a reason there what is that the ratio of the areas of two triangles is equal to the ratio of the product of their basis and their corresponding height. You'll say, wow, this is amazing. Okay, one more thing, like on the right hand side, you want it as a ratio, two ratios multiplied. That is the product of two ratios. Can we write it the same way? Yes, we can write it. We can write it as BC upon QR into AD upon PS and let this be our result number one. Now, whatever we got right now, just compare it with what we wanted. We want area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR. We got that. That means we'll say left hand side is sorted. We got that. Now we just need to focus on the right hand side. On the right hand side we want product of two ratios. You'll say we have it. But let's compare those ratios. We want AB upon PQ. But what do we have? BC upon QR. You'll say we don't want this. So that means I'll just erase it and write AB upon PQ. No. We can't do that. Instead of BC upon QR we can write AB upon PQ provided we get them equal. That means the very first thing is we need to get BC upon QR equal to AB upon PQ. That's the first thing we need to get. Okay. What? Is, let's look at the next ratios which we have. We want AB upon PQ but what do we have? We have AD upon PS. Yes my dear kids. AD upon PS. So what do we do? That means instead of this we can write AB upon PQ provided we write them equal. We get them equal. Yes, that's the next hint, my dear kids. Okay, you said, wow, this is interesting. That means in order to get this result, we need to get this to one pair of ratio that we have marked as one and the other pair of ratios which we have marked as two. We need to get them equal. Okay, now let's focus on this. That's the hint. So if you look at the first one, we want AB upon PQ equal to BC upon QR. You know, when we want two ratios equal, we have triangles here. You will say, yes, we can get ratios equal provided we prove triangles to be similar. But the question is, which triangles should I consider? There are so many triangles here. It depends on the ratio. Look at the ratio. Look at the numerators, AB and BC. Do we get a triangle with the help of AB and BC? AB and BC. Yes, it forms a triangle. We are the sides of a triangle. That is triangle ABC. Wow, so we understood one triangle is ABC. Look at the denominator, PQ and QR. Does it form a triangle? You will say, yes. PQ and QR forms this triangle. That is triangle PQR, my dear kids. Okay, beautiful. So that means what we are saying is, we need to get these two triangles, ABC and PQR to be similar. We need not get it. We have it. You know we have it? Yes, because it is already there in the given. That means we can just use that, right? And we can write that here and that's nothing but because it is given, we can write the reason is given. From there, let's pick the ratio which we want. AB upon PQ, yes, we have it. So we write AB upon PQ. Equal to, we want BC upon QR to check. 
BC, its corresponding side is QR. So BC upon QR. Wow, we got that. And this is why did we write those ratios equal? Because the triangles are similar. That means the reason there is nothing but C S S T corresponding sides of similar triangles. And that happens to be a result number two. Superb. So you said yes. We got the first one. That's sorted. That means this BC upon QR can now be replaced by AB upon PD. That is what we got from two. But we now need to get the next one. You will say, yes, yes, let me identify the triangles. It's easy now, right? Yes, focus. Look at the numerator. AB and AD. Does that form a triangle? Yes, it forms a triangle. Which one? Triangle ABD. PQ and PS. Does that form a triangle? Yes, it forms a triangle. That is triangle PQS. Now the question is, look here. We need to get them similar. Okay, we identify the triangles. Just we need to get them similar. Now, how do we get them similar? Observe that. You will say, yes, sir, in both the triangles, we have one pair of angle that is equal. Wow, that's amazing. We require one more pair of angle which can be equal. Okay, one more pair of angle. Do you see any pair of angle A, angle P? No. Do you see that? You don't see it, but it is there. I'll give you a hint. Look at the given. That is triangle ABC and triangle PQR. They are similar. That means you are saying that this entire triangle ABC and this triangle PQR, they are similar. Now you know when two triangles are similar, their corresponding angles are equal. So can we take the corresponding angles B and Q to be equal? Yes, we can. Yes, why? Because they are the corresponding angles of similar triangles. And that is our next statement, my dear kids. And that happens to be a result number three. And the reason is CAST, corresponding angles of similar triangles. You said, wow, this is amazing. You know what now? So that means we can prove these two triangles to be similar by a a test of similarity. Let's do that. So now we consider the two triangle in triangle A B D and triangle P Q S. We write angle A D B is congruent to angle P S Q. Why are they congruent? Why are they equal? We know the reason is nothing but why each is 90 degree. What else? Yes, we can get angle B and angle Q to be equal. Why are they equal? Why are they congruent? These angles are congruent. It is from 3. So now tell me, my dear kids, in both the triangles, we have two pairs of angles, two pairs of corresponding angles which are equal. They are congruent. That means we can say, yes, both the triangles, they are similar and they are similar to each other by a, a test of similarity. You said, wow, we got that. Why did we do this? We did this so that we get these ratios to be equal. So let's get these ratios. AB upon PQ. Yes, AB upon PQ. Equal to AD upon PS. AD upon PS. Yes, we got it. And that happens to be a result number four. The reason is CSST corresponding sides of similar triangles. Amazing. Now, you're excited because we got the second one. So that means in the hint what we have written, we have got it. Now that means we have to just substitute what we got in result number 2 and 4 in this result number 1. So let's do that. So let's write now. Same result number 1 we wrote. But BC upon QR instead of that, what are we going to write? AB upon PQ. From where did we get that? From 2. Okay. This AD upon PS, instead of this we are going to write AB upon PQ. From where did we get that? We got it from 4. That means we got this result by using statement number one statement number two and statement number four and that's the reason what we write for this particular statement you know what what do we get now ab into ab ab square pq into pq pq square that means we have actually proved our first one which we wanted that area upon area is equal to ab square upon pq square let's say you're not ended up this is just the first ratio which we got equal now you'll say Sir, we require two more. Are we going to do the entire thing again? No, similarly, the same way we can get this ratio of the areas equal to the next two. So just we'll write here, similarly, we can prove area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to the second one. That is BC square upon QR square. We can write that, right? And that will happen to be our result number six. Same way, we can write area of triangle ABC upon area of triangle PQR is equal to AC square upon PR square, which happens to be a result number 7. So now, overall, when we look at result number 5, result number 6, and result number 7, what do we get? We'll get 
that the ratio of the areas of these two similar triangles is equal to AB square upon PQ square is equal to BC square upon QR square is equal to AC square upon PR square and from where did we get this? We got it from result number 5, 6 and 7 and wasn't that easy. We have proved the theorem. We have proved this theorem on areas of similar triangles. Now this happens to be a very, very, very important theorem for your examinations. And this is how we prove it. Now wasn't that easy? You'll say, wow, this was amazing, isn't it? Do it well, learn it well, and see to it that you write and practice it well. And yes, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon.